Just a poor wayfaring stranger I'm traveling through this world below There is no sickness, toil, or danger In that bright world to which I go I'm going there to see my father. I'm going there no more to roam. I'm just a going over Jordan. I'm just a We meet you here, Lord, at the intersection of love and faithfulness. Here, prayer and praise join hands. Scripture is embraced, and our voices unite in songs to you. Speak tenderly to our hearts in this time of worship, and show us the path to peace. Amen.
The truly happy person doesn't follow wicked advice, doesn't stand on the road of sinners, and doesn't sit with the disrespectful. Instead of doing those things, these persons love the Lord's instruction, and they recite God's instruction day and night. They are like a tree replanted by streams of water, which bears fruit at just the right time, and whose leaves don't fade. Whatever they do succeeds. That's not true for the wicked. They are like dust that the wind blows away. And that's why the wicked will have no standing in the court of justice. Neither will sinners in the assembly of the righteous. The Lord is intimately acquainted with the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked is destroyed. Thank you. 
James 5. If any of you are suffering, they should pray. If any of you are happy, they should sing. If any of you are sick, they should call for the elders of the church, and the elders should pray over them, anointing them with oil in the name of the Lord. Prayer that comes from faith will heal the sick, for the Lord will restore them to health. And if they have sinned, they will be forgiven. For this reason, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of the righteous person is powerful in what it can achieve. Elijah was a person just like us. When he earnestly prayed that it wouldn't rain, no rain fell for three and a half years. He prayed again, God sent rain, and the earth produced its fruit. My brothers and sisters, if any of you wander from the truth and someone turns back the wanderer, recognize that whoever brings a sinner back from the wrong path will save them from death and will bring about the forgiveness of many sins.
We're now going to read the Lord's Prayer in a different voice. You will read the all part, and I'll read the one. Our Father, who art in heaven. Our Creator, you are all around us and within us. Hallowed be thy name. We praise you with many different names. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Help us live as we understand we should from knowing you, in harmony and connectedness with each other. On earth as it is in heaven. With all creatures of the earth, and with the earth, and all the universe itself. Give us this day our daily bread. Help us to use your resources wisely so that we might be sustained. And forgive our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Help us take responsibility when we fail to live harmoniously. And help us understand and forgive when others let us down. And lead us not into temptation. Let us know you well enough that we are not tempted to live outside of your love. But deliver us from evil. And empower us to work together to overcome evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. We believe that you created the world and that you will be all around us and within us. Amen. Amen. We are open to you. declares the Lord. They are plans for peace, not disaster, to give you a future filled with hope. When you call me and come and pray to me, I will listen to you. When you search for me, yes, search for me with all your heart, you will find me. Thank you, Lord, for listening to our prayers tonight both spoken and unspoken. Your presence here tonight fills our hearts with peace. May the peace that fills our hearts now continue to bless us and others as we leave this place. Amen. Amen.